about social media networks, so if you don't use Twitter, Tumblr, or YouTube, then you probably don't care. If you don't use YouTube, how are you watching this? The Watch So currently I do follow back anyone who follows me on Tumblr, but I don't really think of myself as the sub for sub type. Since people get really excited about me following them, I always feel kind of guilty because I just follow them back because they followed me. So that's gotten me thinking about the difference between YouTube and Twitter and Tumblr, since Tumblr's the only one that I follow people back on. So this is what I've come up with. YouTube. Subscribing to someone on YouTube is saying, I really like what you've done in the past and I'd like to not miss it in the future. But if you subscribe to someone who makes terrible videos and you don't ever watch them, then that's like saying, my subscription isn't worth anything. Now, if someone doesn't make regular videos or doesn't upload original content and they ask for subscribers, that's just them looking for some fake sense of importance. I don't condone people making themselves feel better about themselves by using a faceless number of people. How many subscribers you have is not putting a number on how cool you are. This is why it really bothers me when people ask me to subscribe to them and then I look at their page and they have no videos. Also, if you subscribe to me, then I've looked at your channel and if I didn't subscribe, chances are I'm not going to unless things get rapidly better, in which case I'll find you eventually. Twitter. People think Twitter is about the number of followers you have. I don't have a Twitter. No one would follow me. Twitter isn't about how many followers you have, it's about who you follow. And furthermore, it's about who you talk to. If you have a Twitter but you don't talk to anyone, it sucks. You need to start talking to the people that you think are unreachable. From there, you'll find people that you admire in other ways and people that you connect to on a personal level. But please believe me when I say that Twitter is not just Facebook statuses. Don't just tell people when you're taking a shower. No one cares. Tumblr. Tumblr is a place for the utmost randomness. Anything that you have ever loved will be repeated and repeated till it both has no meaning and means so much to you that you can't separate it from other situations. If someone follows me on Tumblr, chances are they like my stuff, unless they're just following me because I make videos, which is possible. If they follow me because they like the stuff on my Tumblr, chances are I'll like the stuff that's on their Tumblr. Since Tumblr is just the internet puking out everything that it's ever loved, and I happen to love almost everything, Tumblr is a really great place for me to be, and I like having a constantly moving dash. If you ever run out of things to look at on Tumblr, you're doing it wrong. However, I'm not going to continue following back forever. As soon as I hit 300 followers, I'm done. Nor does my following someone guarantee that I'll continue to follow them. If all they post are Justin Bieber pictures and Glee photos, we're probably not going to last too long. And if you're a girl and all you post are pictures of really skinny women and things that say I could never be pretty enough, I'm probably going to look at your channel, say something really nice about you, and then unfollow you. I just have a hard time with that kind of self-abuse when you deliberately look at the things that will upset you. So yeah, I've just been saying yes I follow back on Tumblr a lot and I just feel like it needed some justification. Mostly because I do take certain implications from people who sub for sub or ask me to follow them on Twitter when I've never talked to them before. Just so you know, asking me to follow you on Twitter, never going to work. See you guys!